Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So I'm making this vlog today. It's not gonna be my usual like day in the life video, but I'm making this vlog because I am 20 weeks pregnant today. Let me see if I can show you the bump. Uh, I didn't really wear a pregnancy or a maternity shirt, but so you probably can't really see it that well, but I am 20 weeks, there is a bump there. There you go, I can show you this. That's a little bit better with my maternity jeans. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, I'm 20 weeks this week. I don't really know what day I turned 20 weeks on. Um, I think it's on Wednesdays, which would be today, but it could be on Mondays, I really don't know. I'm 20 weeks and one week from today, we have our anatomy scan and we will be finding out the gender of baby number three. So like this time next week, it's like 12.40 now, my appointment is at 11. Like this time, a week from now, we will know if we're having a boy or a girl, which is just like, ah! I'm excited, but I'm also so nervous because <laughs> if it's a boy, I'm just gonna like need to just take a day to let that sink in. I really hope it's a girl, but I just don't know which way it's gonna go. But anyway, since we are one week out from knowing the gender, I thought it would be fun to do a vlog on old wives tales and which way I'm leaning to kind of try to predict baby's gender. I did these with my first and second pregnancies. With my first pregnancy, most of them said boy, I believe, and it was right. And with my second pregnancy, I think most of them said girl, and obviously they were wrong because I had another boy. Now, I do feel like with these old wives tales that you can kind of skew them and make Make the result be either a boy or girl whichever you want and I feel like that's kind of what I did like with my first I wanted a boy so like I feel like I skewed the results and kind of picked ones that like only did boy I don't, that I would like only qualify for like boy answers and then my second one like I feel like I just answered a lot of them like more girl results and so because I really wanted a girl and then it was wrong so this time I'm gonna try to be like very neutral about it and just try to get like true gender wives tale results and um, just do it for you so I have a couple of them here um, 10 or so. Some of them are ones I've done before and then I think maybe one or two is new. In the past, I've done ones with like my pee where like you can do it with like baking soda or you can like boil red cabbage and then it changes the color or Drano and it changes the color. I'm not gonna do that this time because it's just gross and it just takes a lot of effort. So I'm not doing those this time. So I just went online and found a bunch of like the most popular ones. There are some that are p more popular that I'm just not gonna do because they're hard. Like, I don't even know what my answer would be. Like, one of them is um, if you have cold feet, you're more likely to get a boy, and if you have like warm feet, then you're gonna have a girl. Well, I constantly have cold feet. I'm one of those weird people that where I wear socks constantly so I just feel like I wouldn't get a good result out of that and there's also another one where it's like what side of the bed um, or like what side you usually lay on like if you mostly sleep on your right side you're having one gender if you're mostly sleeping on the left side you're having the other well I don't really feel like I favor one side or the other I just kind of change it up all the time so I'm not I'm not doing those ones where it's like well there's really no answer. So I try to pick ones where like it's a definite, definite answer. So anyway, we'll just go with the vlog and um, we'll see what these are predicting. Um, Anthony thinks it's gonna be a boy. I, I've just been putting it out into the universe that it's a girl. Um, I don't have too much to go off of, but um, those are our predictions if you wanna know what we're guessing. So our first gender prediction that we're gonna do is um, cravings. So, and this is weird because I've seen it different on different websites, but I, the most common I've seen is if you're craving sweet things, then you're more likely to have a girl. If you're craving salty things, then you're more likely to have a boy. Now I did see like one website where they flipped those, but most websites had it like this. So uh, for this pregnancy, I've 
actually I've been craving a lot more salty things than sweet things like I've been saying in my pregnancy updates I crave meat <laughs> and pretzels um, and I really like I am an ice cream person I used to have it like weekly and when I like wind down at the end of the day, I'm not, I, ever since I got pregnant, I haven't been like, oh, I really want some ice cream right now. Like it's really weird for me to not crave it, to not want to eat it. And it's not like, oh, I hate it. I don't ever want to like even look at it, but it's like, I don't go out of my way to get ice cream, which is crazy to me. So yes, definitely craving salty things. So that would be a point for boy. My second uh, gender prediction is going to be morning sickness. So supposedly according to the old wives tale, if you have morning sickness during your pregnancy, you're more likely to have a girl. And if you have no morning sickness, then you're more likely to have a boy. So this pregnancy, I have had morning sickness. I finally just kind of got over that hump. I still have it here and there like at random times of the day. But yes, I have morning sickness, so that is a point for the girl. Now I will preface this. I've had morning sickness for all of my pregnancies, so I really don't think that this old wives tale is true. Um, I had <clears throat> semi bad morning sickness with my first pregnancy. With my second, it was really, really bad. It was so bad I was convinced I was having a girl because the morning sickness was so bad. Uh, but no, it was a boy. And this one, I've had bad morning sickness as well. Um, supposedly, the more pregnancies you have, the worse the morning sickness gets. So maybe that contributes to it, but anyway. So this is a point for the girl. So, so far we have one point for boy and one point for girl. The third uh, old wives tale is, I have it all wrote down on my phone right here. Glowing skin or not. So supposedly if you have glowing skin while you're pregnant, it's um, more indicative of having a boy. If your skin is breaking out a lot and it's just not looking great, supposedly you're having a girl. I guess the old wife's tale is saying that if you have a girl, she steals your beauty and I guess, I guess that's like the saying. So this pregnancy, if you've been watching my um, bump dates, I have complained I have been breaking out so bad this pregnancy and I can't really remember on my previous pregnancies if I've had this issue. I don't think I have, but it's hard to say. I, I guess I'd have to go back and watch my videos, but this one I have definitely been breaking out, uh, especially in the beginning. I had such bad acne. It's gotten a little bit better um, as I've gotten further on, but in the beginning it was so bad. I was just constantly breaking out and I still will get like a bad zit here and there on my face or just like randomly on my legs, like so crazy. So that would be a point towards girl. I will say this um, old wife's tale is what makes me lean towards that I'm having a girl because I'm breaking out and I'm hoping that means I have a girl. I don't, I don't believe I broke out that bad with, when, with my previous two pregnancies, but I don't know, who knows. So anyway, that is one point for the boys so far and two points for the girls so far. So for gender um, prediction number four, it is partner gaining weight or not. So if your partner is gaining weight while you are pregnant alongside you, it's supposedly a girl. If your partner has lost weight or just kind of maintaining the same weight, then it would be a boy. So Anthony has, since I've been pregnant, gained weight. And this is mostly because last, like in the beginning of this year, he was really into working out and would run all the time and lost a ton of weight. And then with the whole craziness of uh, selling a house and buying a house and everything, he stopped going to the gym because we were so busy. And then we moved to our new house and he just has yet to find a new gym. It just hasn't been a priority for him. So that is why he has gained weight instead of lost weight. That would be a point for the girl. So we are at three points for girl and one point for boy. Although this seems like the silliest 
old wives tale ever because it has to do with the husband and not with me so I don't know how that could predict gender but apparently it does <laughs> old wives tale number five so this has to do with your personality while you're pregnant so supposedly if you are very moody during your pregnancy it's indicative of having a girl if you're more calm during your pregnancy that you're more likely to have a boy so this pregnancy i've been very moody <laughs> um i've been my emotions have been all over the place um i'll just randomly like go off on anthony one day or just be like really sad or really happy or whatever so that would be a point for the girls again but i'm gonna preface this i've been moody in all of my pregnancies heck when i'm not pregnant i'm moody like that this is what it is like you're a girl like you're moody so i don't really feel like this is a very good gender prediction but i guess if we're just going along with it um it is a point for the girl so that would be four points for girl and one point for boy. I didn't realize this was gonna like sway so heavily towards the girls. So anyway, we'll see what the next one is. So gender prediction number six is pupil dilating after looking in the mirror for a minute. So I've never heard of this one before. Um, so this is a new one to me and it kind of interested me. So supposedly you're supposed to go and look in the mirror and after a minute if your pupil has dilated meaning it got bigger then you're having a boy if your pupil has not dilated and stayed the same or gotten smaller i guess then you're having a girl so i'm gonna go and look in the mirror <laughs> for a minute and then i'll come back and i'll tell you what it showed me i i don't know how the eyes tell you but yeah this was interesting to me so i was like you know what i'm gonna try it so i'll be right back and i'll tell you what the mirror showed me okay i'm back <laughs> that was like the weirdest thing ever just like staring at myself so i stared at my eyes for a minute in the bathroom looking at the mirror and they did not change they did not dilate and get bigger they just stayed small so that means girl apparently if they get bigger it means boy if they stay the same it's a girl so that is another point for the girls so that would be five points for a girl and one point for a boy so number seven it's going to be the heartbeat um, I feel like everybody always does it on the heartbeat. According to the old wives tale, if the baby's heartbeat when you let go into the doctor's appointment and they listen to it on the Doppler or on the ultrasound or whatever, if your baby's heartbeat is faster than 140, then you're having a girl. If it is slower than 140, then you're having a boy. So the baby's heartbeat has been in like the 150s, I think it was in the 160s prior to that. So it has been faster than 140, which points to girl. Now I will preface this and say, in my first two pregnancies, both the boys had high heartbeats. They were both above 140 like the whole time and they were both boys. So I really don't believe in this old wives tale, but I feel like I have to mention it because everybody does it. But uh, the baby's heartbeat has been over 140 every time. So supposedly it's a girl. So that's another point for the girls. So, so far we have six points for girl and one point for boy. Okay, so next gender prediction, we have the Chinese gender chart. So you can go on to, you could just Google it, which is what I'm gonna do right now, because I did it before and now I don't remember what it said, but you can go on to any like Google website and uh, you just Google Chinese calendar for baby gender. And basically what you have to do is you put in your date of birth. So I'm doing that right now of June 10th. And then the date of conception. I think it goes off of like the month of conception. Yeah, so you put in your age and then you put in 
what month you conceived in. And then it has like a whole calendar to show you like depending on your age and the month you conceived in what you're having. So this website told me that I am having a girl. So that is another point for the girls. I cannot remember with my first two what the calendar said for them. I think one of them it was right and one of them it was wrong. It's off a calendar, it's kind of silly. But that is another point for girl, so that is seven points for girl and only one point for boy. The next gender old wives tale is going to be if you are clumsy or smooth during your pregnancy so if you've been very clumsy during your pregnancy online it said that you're having a boy if you're more smooth and you're not very clumsy then you're having a girl so this pregnancy I've been clumsy just yesterday I banged my knee into the side of the door because I wasn't watching where I was walking. So I'm very clumsy. So that is a point for the boys. Now I will preface this and say, even when I'm not pregnant, I am a very clumsy person. Like I think it's just some people are clumsy and some people aren't, but I'm always clumsy. So is this a real good gender prediction? I don't know, but We'll just count it. So, so far it's seven for girl and now we have two for boy. I'm keeping track on my phone so I don't <laughs> lose track. Okay, so I have one last gender prediction. This video is getting kind of long anyway, so we'll just do 10. The last gender prediction I have is, I think this is off the Mayan calendar, um, if I remember that correctly. So basically, if your age and the year of conception are both even, then you're having a girl. If one of the numbers is even and one of the numbers is odd, then you're having a boy. So I am 29, I was I had just turned 29 when I conceived this baby. And the year that we are in is 2022. 29 is an odd number and 2022 is an even number. So I have one odd and one even, that means I'm having a boy. So that is another one for the boys. I think I did this one with my previous two pregnancies and I don't remember with either of them. I'll have to go back and watch the video. You should go back and watch those videos and see if the gender predictions were right or not. But anyway, that is the last one I have. So we are ending it with a grand total of seven for girl and three for boy. So, According to the gender predictions, I'm having a girl. And I've tried to be like very neutral about it and not try to sway it either way, even though I am hoping it's a girl. It very well may be a boy. But according to this, I'm having a girl. So like I said, we will find out one week from today if we're having a boy or a girl. And then the very next day on Thanksgiving, we are gonna do a gender reveal for my family. Um, I got two Two, like powder cannons off of Amazon um, I got well technically it came in a pack of four it comes with two pink and two blue and so then Anthony and I will just take which ones if it's a boy we'll take the blue ones if it's a girl we'll take the pink ones and then we'll just shoot it off and let everybody know what we're having I will definitely take a video of that so definitely stay tuned um, let me know in the comments down below have you done these gender predictions these old wives tales has it been true for you has it been false let me know no, I think most of the time these are falls. I mean, each time it's a 50-50 shot, so I don't know. But um, hopefully they're right because I'd really love to have a girl. Look, I'm even wearing like a pinky purple shirt. I didn't even plan that, but I really hope it's a girl, but we will see. Either way, this baby is so loved and we just can't wait to add another one to our family. So either way, it's gonna be fun and an adventure. But I just, I always have fun doing these old wives tales. How many times in your life can you say you can do these? Not very often. So every time I have an opportunity, I will do them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe so that you find out what we are having. Um, also, down in the comments below, let us know what you're thinking baby is. Um, do you think it's a boy or do you think it's a girl? Let us know down below. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!